Hey there, I'm Hannah, and together with my friend Hulk Hogan, we're going to show you all the clothes I thrifted in the month of May. And if you're wondering why I have Hulk Hogan, you're going to have to watch part one of this thrift haul. I just thrifted so much stuff in the month of May, I had to split it up into two videos. First one is all my household items, like Hulk Hogan, and this one is going to be all my clothes. So I'm just going to put him away right here so he can watch everything. He'll be my supervisor for today. And uh, now I'll show you some clothes. Starting with accessories, I got a pair of sunglasses, not the ones that are on my vest. Those are just a really old thrift store find. These, however, are brand new. If you didn't know I had a small head, you're gonna know it now by the size of these sunglasses. Then I got this belt that's in, uh, I was gonna say nude, but that would elude that it's my skin tone, and it's actually tan compared to my skin tone. So let's just go with it's creamy. Um, I was looking for one like it, and I found it, so good deal. I also happened to find a scarf. And scarves are not something I actively search for anymore. They were something that I bought a lot when I was younger, and I have a really good collection of them now, so I just, I don't have any reason to look for them. Plus, if your thrift stores are anything like mine, like scarves and just accessories in general are just super overwhelming to look through. But this one caught my eye because it reminded me of a marble. Not that I have any sentimental attachments to marbles. I figured that I'd wear it like in my hair because that's where I've been really loving wearing scarves. We'll see. And now this is something you don't see in all my thrift hauls. I actually found purses. One of my favorite small town thrift stores was having a sale where all of the purses were half off. And I thought to myself, don't mess this up, Rupp. This is the time to buy a purse. And so I bought two of them. The first one is this beautiful black crossbody bag. I've mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating. I am not a purse snob. I don't know purses. I don't go for designers or fancy things. I just pick something that will match my needs. And I needs a small black purse. And I kind of lucked out because I think this is like brand new. Like everything about it is in really good condition. Like there's no pen or lipstick marks on the inside. All of my own purses look crappy inside, so I'm just really surprised when I see a clean purse. If you're trying to figure out what the lining is, it's uh, navy colored with white stars. Really cute. The other purse I found is this little lever print number. I lied, it's not little. It's this kind that you fold it up and then it's like a whole bag. And you can't feel it, so I'll feel it for you. It's like this soft, like velvety suede. Yeah, that feels nice. It's kind of hard to imagine that as much as I love leopard print, I haven't owned a leopard print purse until now. And now as far as clothes go, I have a whole basket of them. Starting with what's on top, we've got a black velvet dress. Part of the reason I was attracted to it was because it's in like a classic skater shape. But the other part is because it has mega 90s vibes. Um, the tag is the limited and I would assume it is from the 90s. This is definitely not one of their more modern tags. But couldn't you just see me becoming a witch in this dress? That's just one of the many questions I ask myself before I buy something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. While all of the clothes I bought look pretty classic Hannah Rupp, this one is not. I just fell victim to its cuteness, and it is this. Normally, I like to buy things that you can wear a bunch of different ways. That's kind of the whole reason I have a blog called The Outfit Repeater. I love to repeat my clothes. But I guess it's okay to have a few of these kind of clothes where they can only be worn one way. You know, not everything has to be a complicated outfit. This poor thing has been waiting since April to get shown. It accidentally didn't get in the last haul. It's just um, a black and white gingham, mm, kind of like a blazer, kind of cardigan thing. I have a few jacket things like this. There's no closures, there's no lapels, there's no collars. It's just the thing that you throw on your outfit. They're cool. It's cool. I'm cool. This next thing I would count as a blazer, and I still count it as being thrifted even though I ordered it online because it was a secondhand clothing website. It is this fabulous cropped sequin blazer. Sequins all the way around. How often do you find that on garments? I've actually seen and almost bought quite a few of these jackets at thrift stores, but I was never willing to commit to the price. They were just too expensive for me. But this one I got at ThreadUp, and the thing was I had a bunch of credit and some of it was expiring, so I'm like, treat yourself. So I finally treated myself to a sequin blazer. So anytime Vegas wants to give me an act, I'm ready. This is my costume. I'm just waiting on the internet for my call. This next thing does not need much explanation. It is a black and white striped skirt. 
I think you can get an idea of what that looks like. And if you can't, there's a picture right next to me. Okay, if I stare at this shirt too long, I get a little dizzy, so I'm not going to show it for very long. It is this wildly colored floral sleeveless shirt from H&M, and that is as much as you're going to see of it. I don't know, it's just really bright, but I'm sure I'll get used to it once I wear it a bunch of times. Hopefully. Um, another basic for my wardrobe are a pair of white Bermuda shorts. Hey, these are actually paler than my face. I'm doing all right. So there is that. The almost last thing that I bought is this pink t-shirt that's sort of in um, a Jersey varsity style. I'm not athletic, why did I buy this? I'm still searching for my perfect pajama top from the 80s and it is in like this varsity style. So I bought this one and I thought because it's plain, I will buy an iron-on patch and I'll make my own shirt. Maybe I'll even find a vintage iron-on patch because that would just complete it for me. And hey, if that doesn't happen, then at least I have a pink jersey in case I ever get invited to a sporting event where one of the team colors is pink. Does that exist? <laughs> I honestly don't know. I am just cruising in this video. The last thing is probably my favorite thing of everything, sorry Hulk, of everything, is a pair of pajamas I found. They look like this, or that if you're looking at the picture. They're so freaking adorable! Like with purses, I'm really not picky about pajamas. Uh, I bought these at Goodwill and they were one of the new items from Target. If you don't already know this by now, Goodwill for years has been buying um, the unsold merchandise from Target. So if you're ever at Goodwill and you feel like you're just at a Target outlet, that's why. So I was pretty lucky that they had a bunch of these pajamas in all the different sizes. So I went with one and they fit perfectly and I feel really adorable in them. I really like the 80s vibe. I feel like they are some kind of wonderful sweet dreams are going to be made in this. That was some 80s references for you. That's it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching this video, for watching the last video, for watching any of my videos. You guys are just the best at watching videos. I wish there was an award I could give you but all I have is my words to say thank you. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Subscribe so you can see more videos and hopefully I will see you guys in future videos. smells pretty new too. I don't normally sniff things that I thrift, but it looks good, so I'm willing to take a chance. Oh my gosh, free samples! I didn't- oh! Advil and Band-Aids, jackpot! I didn't know that was in there. Clearly I didn't check it very closely, and neither did the store.